I'm Jennifer Fried. I'm a professor emerit of psychology at the University of Oregon, and I am the founder and president of the Center for Institutional Courage. Together with my colleagues, I founded the Center for Institutional Courage in early 2020. And the reason that I was eager to create a new institution was that my research over the decades had indicated that humans are very impacted by betrayal, including the betrayal that occurs from institutions, which we call institutional betrayal, and that that impact is very negative. People can even commit suicide over institutional betrayal. They can suffer in all sorts of ways. And I believed that we could improve our institutions and make institutional betrayal less likely. Sometimes betrayal occurs because they're bad actors and evil systems, but sometimes betrayal occurs because people, no matter their good intentions, don't understand that what they're doing can cause so much harm. And it's that kind of betrayal that I really feel we can address by teaching people and institutions how to operate in ways that make it less likely they're going to harm people. I call those changes institutional courage because Anytime you try to change a system that's quite entrenched, there's resistance. So it does take courage to change institutions from the way they're operating now into a better future. The Center for Institutional Courage is a nonprofit with a mission to do research on institutional courage and all the related concepts, and also to educate the world about what we already know and what we will find out through our research. One of the things we've already learned is that there are certain steps institutions can take that reduce the amount of institutional betrayal. One of them is that institutions can find ways to cherish the whistleblower. Currently, when somebody reports a problem to an institution, they tend to get punished for reporting that. Uh, but it, if they get cherished instead, if they get told thank you for bringing to our attention this problem, the institution can reward that behavior and then use that information early rather than when it's too late to improve whatever the problem is that individuals bring to them. This is such a simple thing to change, but it will require courage for institutions to change how they respond to whistleblowers. That's just one of a number of steps we've already discovered can make a difference. And there's so much more that I believe we will discover in the years ahead about how to increase institutional courage.